testing the driver stabilization on the new Blackmagic 7.9 camera update, which has unexpectedly added gyro stabilization to Blackmagic's entire line of pocket cinema cameras. And it does require the Resolve 18 beta. I have three different clips here today, uh, and I showed them one after the other, and then side by side. Uh, the first one, I was trying to walk smoothly, and you can see the two up for this one. Definitely noticeable. In this second one, I was almost intentionally walking not smoothly. I really wanted to get a clear idea of what the limitations of this new gyro stabilization were. And as you can see, it made quite a bit of difference. There is some of the walking motion left over, but it actually did a surprisingly good job. In this two up, the thing that stands out to me is both that it took a ton of the motion out, and at the same time, there's some warp stabilizer like artifacts left over, so it's not perfect. In the last shot, I was crouched down. I just wanted to see how it would deal with handheld jitters by themselves without any walking motion. In some ways I'm most impressed with this because it really shows that even in its first iteration, if you're careful about how you shoot your handheld shots, you can get something approaching gimbal stability while still maintaining that organic handheld look. I'm really excited about the possibilities this opens up for shooting on the Blackmagic Pocket cameras. So just from a cursory glance, Looks like this is an effective tool. Uh, it won't get rid of significant motion completely, but if you shoot carefully, you really can shoot handheld with these cameras and get smooth footage. If you'd like to see something more in depth about the new gyro stabilization, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do a more comprehensive video about this and test this out more. Thanks for watching.